Okay, so you know what I'm thinking? What if I cook always in this corner and then I put like <gasps> Cynthia's cooking corner? Yay! <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm actually considering that. <coughs> so on today's video, what I'm going to be doing is actually cutting up the chicken and getting it ready to marinate. However, okay, a couple things you're going to need. I didn't guess I didn't say that last time. So welcome to today's video, which is on step two, how to actually cut your chicken to get it ready for the marinade and get them married and have babies and taste delicious. So what you're going to need a knife, preferably a chef's knife, life hack number, I don't know. Um, if you go to Nella Cutlery, there's factories um, in Mississauga. There's one in Mississauga and there's one somewhere else, but Mississauga is by like uh, Cothra Road. Um, you can get used knives like what happens is that stores or restaurants that use knives Give it to them to sharpen and then they replace them with a different one So basically it's almost like a significantly cheaper price than a real chef's knife Which a chef's knife is hundred and fifty dollars and you really don't want to get a cheap one because it's gonna make your life hell even to the point where like this one if I'm cutting chicken because I cut the chicken into really small pieces and I know other people will like use scissors and stuff like that, but then I don't know. I'll just show you how I do it and you guys do what you got to do. And yeah, so this is like a sharpening little rod. Um, I have a bamboo or wood cutting board. I think you're supposed to use plastic, but we don't. So I'm, if we get critique for that, my bad, but maybe we'll fix it. Maybe we won't because we haven't died yet. So, okay. So what you do is you put it down and you kind of have a slant to your knife. Also be careful, like buyer beware. And I'm not responsible if you cut your hand off. So be careful. And if you're 18 and younger, don't do it unless your parent is around. Okay, so you go like this and you basically wanna just, you're not going like this. I'm not going literally against it. I'm kind of just like going like that and just doing like a slight um, pull. And that's gonna take any of the loose threads or fibers, which is really just metal and um, take it off the sides. And it's just gonna give it a sharper cut. And honestly, this could just be placebo effect. Honestly, I really, I really don't know. But again, even if it's placebo, it works for my brain. So we have kitchen space right now, but I usually put it in a Ziploc bag first, a large Ziploc bag, the chicken. And then I would put it into, um, I would put into a bowl and get the marinade going. So before that though, cause I'm gonna have chicken bits, I'm just gonna put a bag beside me. And that way like I can collect garbage and it's easier. You know how you see all these YouTube people, like they watch videos after they become famous, like their first videos and they cringe? Like, I wonder if I'm gonna watch this and be like, oh my God, I was so ugly back then. Oh my God, I think I had a style. No, I'm just joking. Anyways, okay, so this is just chicken. My mom took one, there's blood, so I'm not gonna really show you guys, but anyways, what I do, cause it ends up being like, um, it ends up being, what you would call it, uh, like folded in, it comes folded in. So I open it up, it's kind of flat and I remove any fat from it. It's so funny. I don't cut my chicken either. I mean, I don't wash my chicken. Do you guys? My mom does, but I don't. You think I'm going to die? Probably, honestly, but yeah. Just making sure that the chicken is good. And then um, recently, actually, Kinetic Life, his name is Dimitri. He actually um, was telling me, he's married to a Tamil girl. Her name's Sakana, she does really good makeup. But anyways, um, basically, he was telling me, like showed me some articles that you don't need to wash your meat. And yeah, honestly, do your own research. And if you think that I'm gonna listen to a virtual stranger about how I should do something, it's not the girl for ya. And like, again, personally, when I tell my mom all the time and she gets so annoyed is that like, we're Christian, right? We believe in God. And like, truly, if you believe in God, any type of God, whether like whatever God that is, like truly believe and have faith, then like, if I'm meant to die, that's how I'm meant to die. Like, you know what I mean? I, I can't live my life being scared of the little things. Of course, I can't go walk into the arms of danger, but um, I've seen multiple videos where people don't wash chicken. I don't wash chicken now. And... I'm not dead so yeah and remember how we talked about we're not going to pretend and not do anything for the sake of other people that's what I'm doing I'm probably going to time lapse this though this is going to take a while but I will show you what happens 
when I'm done. But fun fact, this is my least favorite part. I'm not even showing you how I'm cutting the chicken. Whoops. But in my defense, it doesn't go down. Um, yeah. So I'll probably buy six of these packs of chicken. Every time we go grocery shopping, I would buy more if we had it. And we usually get it from Tara, which is like an Asian grocery store. They have meat for cheap. I mentioned in another video that, you know, a lot of people are scared of going to the Asian store because they think that like, you know, it's subpar conditions. It could be, honestly, I don't know. I don't work there, right? But as I mentioned before, I think that um, a lot of things could be subpar conditions and you just wouldn't know it. So, I don't know. I don't know, man, it's controversial. I'm sure people are gonna be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Whoops, see, it's not really, there's like tendons. This is gonna be weird for some people, but oh well. I'll put, I'll put a disclaimer. Be like, vegetarians, don't watch. Fuck, fuck. I'm just joking. Am I gonna get in trouble for all of these things? Maybe, maybe, but who cares? Okay, so I'm kind of delirious now because I was supposed to go to sleep, but lately I haven't been able to sleep properly. And so as a result, I have decided to just do some videos. And now that I have, so I'm done with this chicken now. So what I'm doing, all the little pieces of fat that I trimmed off and any like excess and the blood, I'll maybe take the blood and so it doesn't leak, but take that. That's how much chicken I got so far. And these are the type of pieces I'm cutting it into. So like that, like that, just thin pieces. They're not that thick. So it just cooks better. However, the thinner they are and the smaller they are, the longer you're going to be at the stove cooking them. But again, I can guarantee you this is fucking fire. So it's up to you, right? Like I'm well aware of my pickiness. And as a result, I am willing to put in the extra work. Some people aren't. And then there's some people who want to get the quick fix and are down to like, you know, put in the work to lose 20 pounds in 10 days, you know, for somebody's wedding or a vacation. But then they cut out carbs or they did something un unrealistic. And so the moment they go on the vacation and come back, they basically gained back what they've lost and more. The more is because of the, like, if you do something like no carbs and you don't add it back in in moderation, you fuck yourself. Fuck yourself heavy. Like, it's not good. It's better to not be back and forth and just be consistent with whatever you decide to do than it is to do something extreme. And I'm going to show you guys that. And I learned this from John Mango, as I said. And um, I don't do macros. I mean, I do macros. I follow macros and calories, but I don't do calculations. I think you can find it yourself or I think you can um, click the link in my description box and go search John Mango and he has free videos and he always has promotions going on to hook you guys up and give you some life advice and like keep in mind that's literally what changed right what's the difference between this year and last year and the year before that and the year before that right this year I started a weight loss journey that started some like physical growth that I did see and then I like my deepest fear right is what if you get skinny and then when you get skinny you have like body dysphoria like do you ever look back at pictures when you were skinny and be like yo bro I didn't even know I was that skinny then like and you don't even take advantage of it right or you like let it slip through your hands and next thing you know you're 20 pounds heavier again and like that's happened to me so many times um so I don't know I don't remember what I was going with that. That's gonna happen a lot. Fucking memory of a bird brain. You know, like Dory? I'm basically Dory. Like, huh? What did I say? Literally? My friends probably hate me for it. But yo, it's not that I'm not listening. It's just that, like, I suck at certain things in life. This is one of them. Not this, that. Anyways, that's the last piece. It's actually making it more fun now that I'm having a conversation with somebody. But if I wasn't talking to you guys, I would be, um, I would be listening to music with my headphones and just jamming out. Sometimes I listen to it on my Google Mini, bring the Google Mini to the kitchen, blast it and do it. And like, here's the thing, man, you're gonna have to learn how to cook. You're gonna have to learn how to like to cook, just like how you're gonna have to learn how to budget and you're gonna have to learn how to um, 
read bank accounts or statements or something like that. Like these are things that are part of your everyday life, like cooking. Like how many meals are, like do we eat on uh, One Big Happy Life? It's a financial blogging channel. Um, basically, the girl quits a job at a law firm because she's making six figures. No, probably more than six figures now with her YouTube career and it's just kicking off like crazy. So um, she quit, like she had a job, knew what she was doing, had this side hustle from time, but she believes in planning for one year in advance. So I don't do that, but I'm actually gonna try it and let you guys know how I feel about it. My whole thing is like, how do you know what's gonna happen for a year in advance? And then her whole thing with that is like, um, her name's Tasha, by the way. Her whole thing with that is that you, um, like that's all the more reason that you should be tracking your finances for a year. Like there are some things you know, like if you have a child, you know that your child's birthday is coming. If you only go on vacation during March break, then you know that my vacation during March break based on the past is $6,000. Or if I'm Christmas comes every fucking year and that's the month that everyone goes broke, right? Like, or January because of credit card bills. Like, you know, all of these things are coming up. So if you set aside $20 per paycheck from January, that's easier to do than, um, that, that's easier to do than what? Uh, la, la, la. Oh, then last minute going crazy shopping, spending a thousand dollars on one bill and then like hurting your bank account, right? It's like the same thing. Like, honestly, I'm going to use so many analogies in this that are going to go back to weight loss. And it's like weight loss. Like what's easier losing 10 pounds over 10 months or 10 pounds in 10 days, right? Like, yeah, you could probably lose 10 pounds in 10 days for sure. But like, you're probably not going to maintain that. You're probably not drinking Coronas and you're probably not having foods that you can potentially be eating for the rest of your life. Like I think about this and I'm like, would I eat this? Would I serve this for kids if I had a child or something like that? Right. And the answer is, yeah. Like, why wouldn't you? What the fuck? Making tacos is one of the easiest things to make. You don't even have to make it like this. You can make a stir fry and um, make some ground beef, make it into a stir fry. You can even put it with like, say, get a wok, get a pot, Get some vegetables and you're gonna take some onion, you're gonna take some garlic, put the garlic last after a little bit of olive oil is in the wok or the pot that you're using. Make sure that the pot is hot, add the oil. Once the oil's like pretty hot, reduce down the heat to medium high heat. And what you're gonna do is add whatever ground meat you wanna use. It can be ground turkey, it could be ground chicken. Beware, the leaner cuts of meat are healthier, but they're also nastier. So if they're nastier, then make sure you're adding a lot of dry seasonings because those don't count as calories, in my opinion. And, uh, or they have such little like, mon like um, uh, calorie or nutritional inf like value that it's not even worth it to track it. And then <clears throat> what I would do is, um, I would also use fresh herbs and I would just make sure that like, I'm seasoning the shit out of it. Also for when you buy seasonings, Try your best, especially like pre-made seasonings. Hold on, I'll give you an example. Like this kind of seasoning, we have like one for jerk chicken, but this is all purpose seasoning. It has salt in it and it's the first ingredient. But Laura Vitali once told me, as if she's my friend, but she told me that um, the, the, if you get a seasoning like that, always try your best to get no salt and that way you can control the amount of sodium that you add into your add into your thing so if you looked at the bag and like i flattened it out it's like I'm trying to show you without moving the tripod it's about like actually why am i guessing uh, i'm using my scale i'm gonna put the bag on top and i'm gonna change the unit two ounces actually pounds so it's two pounds and six ounces all of this meat excuse me two pounds six ounces and honestly some people are gonna hate this but i don't really have like a rhyme or reason to how i do this this is just real life what i'm gonna do though anytime you take the seasoning out especially if it's been a while you're going to notice that sometimes there's a thin crust like a film that gets put on top what you're going to do to avoid that if you're not using it right away is you're just going to put cling wrap and press it against the surface just make sure it touches just a little bit and it, it avoids having that skin like texture and all you do is mix 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 and what else uh mix 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 oh yeah and then if you need to add water or olive oil to 
dilute it, then go ahead. So you could like measure this out and be like, there's this much, I'm gonna divide it by three or whatever, but I'm kind of just putting, I put like two and a half ladles. I'm gonna put my hand in here and just get, get dirty, you know? because it's just way easier and that way I can make sure everything's getting coated and I can see based on like how everything is how everything smells what it's like and then tomorrow I'm gonna make the video on how to cook it but that'll be later on in the evening and hopefully it'll be out by tomorrow night I think I'm gonna just toss these videos out right now because I'm probably just gonna leave it as it is so it's just raw and authentic live cooking that I did really quickly. So, oh man, it smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna have to move this iPod to show you guys. Hold on. Okay, so the chicken, kind of like lightly coated, but you can see that there's seeds all over. If I smell it, I can smell the chicken. Like, I'm not gonna put extra if I don't need to. And that's why I suggest using your hands from the very beginning. Because if you use your hands from the very beginning, then, um, you know, you can just fucking get to the point. And also, you're gonna just clean one less dish. So, yeah. Even when I close the bag, you can't see that, my bad. When you close the bag, I take out all the air and try to lay it as flat as possible. However, I do still put it in a bowl just in case this leaks. Because then you would not be a happy camper. So, don't really have any small ones right now. So I'm just gonna use this, put it like that. Kind of better. I don't wanna get the tripod dirty, but it's gonna end up getting dirty like that. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge like that. And there you go. That is another video. 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 So again, if you missed it, I made another video. Oh, why am I so out of breath? I'm sick, okay? I have asthma. I don't know. I'm missing an eye. Just kidding. I used to say that in Ryerson. Long story, but um, yeah. I'm actually dying. I need my puffers. Okay, so... Oh yeah, so if you want to watch the video on how I made the Chipotle marinade, that's going to be linked um, down in the description box below. <coughs> Sorry. Bye.